Planning for the future of Rancho Palos Verdes and keeping our residents safer are important issues facing the RPV City Council. Liz Brown Swanson recently sat down with Mayor Anthony Mizetich, who talks about his top 10 goals for the city. You know, we have 10 goals. Uh, the first is, you know, public safety. We've developed a, a good relationship with the new commander of Lamita Station and told him that of our concerns of fighting crime in the community. And so what we have done is, in our new budget, is added a bike patrol on Western Avenue and PB Drive South. Mm -hmm. We've also added more volunteer hours from the Sheriff's Department to be more visible in our community. I think uh, 1,920 more hours, man hours, of uh, uh, volunteer patrol. They're out patrolling the neighborhoods. And one of the, th the areas, uh, crime areas, that we really wanted to focus on was burglaries. And so they're out there, you know, in the neighborhoods that have had issues in the past, you know, patrolling around, looking for anything that looks suspicious. Uh, in addition to that, the Sheriff's Department is uh, hosting crime prevention seminars citywide and at HOAs. We're also asking, you know, people to be organized, maybe get into neighborhood watches yeah, and that I can't kind of say thing. enough for our neighborhood watch in Seaview. It's phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, th those kind of things are very important to having a good um, community that, uh, you know, where there's a low crime rate and where people are looking out for each other. And you can see more from our mayor on our next episode of RPV City Talk, which airs daily at 9 p.m. Now, we've all survived Carmageddon. It's time for Carmageddon 2. This is phase two of the construction that will close down the 405 freeway for an entire weekend, starting with off-ramp shutting down at 7 p.m. on Friday, September 28th, until 5 a.m. on Monday, October 1st. Now, Caltrans is reminding everyone to stay off of the other freeways, as well as PCH, to avoid a traffic nightmare. Upwards of a half a million people drive the 405 every day. Now, everyone did such a great job staying home during the last closure. The authorities are fearful that people will not take the warnings seriously of extreme auto congestion. So mark your calendar and make it a point to eat, shop, and play locally. And here at RPV TV, we're going to help you find lots to do in our community when we air an Armchair Traveler Weekend Marathon. John Clayton will take you all over the South Bay as you rediscover unique finds in your own backyard. And here's a sneak peek of the Armchair Traveler. Armchair Traveler, hosted by John Clayton, takes us traveling in and around the South Bay. Places to go, places to see, catch them right here on the Armchair Traveler. This is John Clayton standing in front of a classic World War II aircraft called a B-17. In just a few moments we'll be flying aboard this wonderful airplane and we'll be going with Lieutenant Wes Koss who was shot down in World War II on his 21st mission. In World War II over 7,000 American merchant marine sailors lost their lives due to enemy action and in 1942 over 7 million tons of Allied shipping went to the bottom of Daisy Jones' locker. This ship behind me, the Lane Victory, is the only victory ship left in the world of her kind, and she's a living testament and memorial to all those sailors. Come with me now as we take a voyage of discovery and a voyage that recreates portions of a World War II convoy. So come on down to the Point Vincenti Interpretive Center where you can do a lot of really fun things, like, for example, pushing a whale around, or you can see what it was like to be cooked. Or you can look inside a whale. Is there anyone there? I say just a second. This is John Clayton from the Point Vincenti Interpretive Center saying, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. event that had everyone in good spirits as Trump National hosted their annual beer and wine festival and many of our local residents were there to partake in all the fun. We have
have about 2,000 people here. It's a wonderful, wonderful event. It's also a, a way to kind of have our vendors come out here and, and describe their wines. And we have Trump Winery now in Virginia, so they're out here. Um, this also portions of this event goes to the PB Land Conservancy as well, so they're out here. They're making their presence known to the community. The, the fact that people are not just locals coming out here. We have people from Pasadena, from Orange County, from all over the South Bay. So it's another chance for us also to say, hey, we're here, community's here, and, and look how we do things around here. It couldn't be any better. The venue is spectacular, as you know. And, um, you know, Trump always does a first-class job, and uh, we're, we're very happy that he's here and that, that he hosts this event. Anything else you want the community to know just about having a celebration like this and how it kind of pulls the people of RPV together? Well, it's not only RPV, and the good thing is it brings the, the entire community together. We got people from Palos Verdes Estates, Rolling Hills, Rolling Hills Estates. We also have Councilman Buscaino. Joe Buscaino, can I bring okay, you over here? Okay. Here? Talking all about right. bringing people in from neighboring cities. Pa Councilman Partying Joe politics Buscaino. here. How are you? What do you think right. of all this? This is amazing. This is my first year here, um, and uh, here with a council mem member here, Dehovic, and a dear friend, and we want to support our neighboring cities' uh, events and uh, great things happening in RPD. Yeah, so uh, in San Pedro as well. So. The Land Conservancy is the beneficiary of this uh, Trump Beer and Wine Festival, and uh, as well as beneficiary of all the raffle proceeds. It's a terrific, very well attended event. It's a gorgeous sunny day, and we're, we're thrilled to be a part of it. Thanks, Liz. Always a good time at Trump National, that's for sure. Coming up next, Penn High football is ready for the season and how you can help to keep our beaches clean. Don't go away. Keep your family safe. Improve your gas mileage. Extend the life of your tires. How do you do it? It's easy. Just check it. Your tire pressure, that is. Keeping your tires properly inflated protects the environment, gives you peace of mind, and saves you money for more important things. So just check it once a month. A message from CalRecycle. Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. If you see someone in danger of starting a wildfire, step in and make a difference. Because nine out of ten wildfires can be prevented. Only you can prevent wildfires. Hi, I'm Deputy Chris Knox, here to remind you of the importance of sharing the road. It's important to slow down when you see orange cones in the road. Many days, men and women are involved in road work, so always slow down even below the speed limit and be aware of the workers in the road. By following these rules, we can all share the road safely. This message is brought to you by the City of Rancho Palos Verdes and the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Peninsula residents came together recently to support the youth organization Freedom For You. Liz Brown Swanson gives us all the details. Hurry up here in Rancho Palos Verdes at a wonderful fundraising event to benefit the great organization Freedom For You. Let's check it out. <laughs> Today we're here gathered at this beautiful location here overlooking the ocean and uh, RPV and uh, it's a benefit music jam for Freedom For You and we have some uh, wonderful musicians, probably 30 musicians that are playing here everywhere from junior high, high school kids, college kids and a lot of uh, professionals that have played with a lot of famous people are here all to help us raise funds for kids programs in the South Bay. Okay, kind of what we're doing is we try to capture kids passion and their interests in a certain area and develop that now we have creative arts areas like film photography all kinds of music and additionally we have life skills workshops that we have uh, kids being involved in uh, junior high kids and then we also place counselors in the public schools to help kids that are at risk that are struggling with uh, depression or family problems or uh, death in the family or drug problems the thing so i appreciate is the whole like underlying theme of like being safe and not doing drugs and because um, that's really important and I think it's a good gateway into that because especially like things like jazz music if, if you're brought in the wrong way there's can be a lot of bad jazz, uh, drugs and, and stuff and Fran for you helps bring you in but with this positive outlook
Well, especially at the start of the school year, some kids have trouble adjusting. Um, and so parents, a lot of times, will just see a change in behavior in their child and they won't really know why. So if a child is normally really shy, then all of a sudden they're outgoing, or if they're outgoing, all of a sudden they're shy or isolated. Um, and if kids are feeling sad, sometimes they don't really come across as being depressed. They'll get really angry or start um, being very hyper. Just any kind of change in behavior. Um, a lot of that has to do with problems adjusting or maybe bullying at school. So if anything is going on with a child that's different, that's the first sign that they may, may need some counseling. As a city manager of Rancho Palos Verdes, I am so proud to have a community that provides such complete services um, for young people the way we do. And congratulations to Greg Allen, to his family that I am privileged to work with uh, and to help prepare for an event like this. It's amazing. As you can see, Maria, a great organization, a wonderful time, all for freedom for you. Back to you in the studio. For more information, you can always go to their website at freedomcommunity.com. And here is your opportunity to join over 67,000 volunteers statewide who will take action for the ocean and become a part of the solution to prevent ocean pollution. The Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy, Los Serenos De Point Vicente, and the city of RPV will celebrate the 28th annual California Coastal Cleanup Day at Abalone Cove Shoreline Park. The event will take place on Sunday, September 15th from 9 a.m. to noon. Now, last year, over 700,000 pounds of trash was removed from our beaches statewide. To be a part of the cleanup, you can go to pvplc.org or call 310 544-5260. And when we come back, are you ready for some football? I am.